What is good guys, back with my SPL, this time a semi-finals game between Zomak from the Tyrants and Shake from the Raiders. So Shake's using a team that Brofist made, it was already used as SPL. So I know all the sets, it's AV Tangros, Rocks, Map, Matran, Baton, Elf Power, Scarf, Defog, Lando, Electric Seed, Halucha, Specs, Tabu Koko, and the Greninja was protein. It was like Z Hydro Pump, Gunshot, HP Fire, and Spikes when both is used it. So we'll have to see if he kept the set or if he changed it around. Like maybe he changed some moves, maybe he changed it to Ash. On Zomak's side, it's probably AV Tangrowth. The Koko could be Sugar Berry to help with the Pinsir matchup, or it could be a Z move as well. If this is Sugar, then another potential Z move user is the Heatran. The Cafable is probably Rock, CM, Soft, but Moonblast. Just in case Shake brought stall, um, a cleft that can get up rocks versus stall is definitely nice. So I'm expecting a Volt switch here from Shake. It's pretty free because there's no ground type on Zomok's side. Zomok could either stay in and go for rocks or he could go in a Tangrowth. Um, staying in and going for rocks is a fine play because. He doesn't need this at full for Halucha. He also has a Coco to deal with Halucha, and if the Ladi is Mega and has Ice Beam or T Bolt, it can also check the Halucha pretty well. So we do see that's confirmed Specs damage. I assume we see the Heatran come out here from Shake. Uh, Zomak probably just went for rocks. So there's the Heatran switch as we see the rocks go up. Now Zomak has to play here. Either the Ladi could come out or the Tita could come out. Um, I assume Shake is just gonna go for rocks. This could be um, either um, Mega Lali plus Banta or Scarf Healing with Lali plus Megata. I think Banta makes a bit more sense because um, Shake definitely could have brought Stall and Banta has, has a better matchup versus Stall than uh, DD Megata. So he goes hard into T-Tar. Um, I think if he's banned, the is definitely his play because Shake has no rock resist. Uh, Shake's play here is always going land no matter if it's um, Banta or Megata. He got up his rocks. Um, I guess he, if he changed the heat into Willowus, he could go for that, but I think it's still Seraphok, Taunt, Magma Storm, Elf Power, and he's probably gonna switch Lando in here. Which is gonna take a good chunk, it's gonna have to take rocks, and if it's really Banta, then the Lando's gonna take a lot from Edge as long as it hits. If it's Megatite, it could DD here and also do a good amount of damage to Shake's team because Earthquake wouldn't uh, be able to Oko this. But yeah, that is uh, more than I expected. I expected like 45, it did 57, so maybe this is. Not as bulky as I thought, the, the Scarf Lando. So now Shaken U turn here. Uh, if someone wants to predict that, he can stay in an edge again because um, he doesn't, like, Shake doesn't really have a switch in. The other play would have been um, going Tangros or Lari. So he stayed in, he went for edge again. That's obviously confirmed bandit damage from the damage that we saw on the Lando. And the Tangros takes a lot because it's not Fist Death, it's AV Tangros. Which does make sense to help with um, Greninja match with the Greninja matchup. So now I don't know if Shake wants to stay in here because if he loses his Tangos, he's quite weak to Tapu Koko. Besides um, his Scarf Lando, Koko kind of just clicks T-Bolt versus the rest of his team. So he might want to switch out here into probably back in the Heatran. But even if he goes back in the Heatran, um, it would still lose one v one to the Tita, I think. Because off power. No, maybe it can yeah, maybe it can take two edges with the Intimidate, but I'm not sure about that, especially with rocks being up, it might still two KO the trend. But I think the Shake's play is still switching the trend because he doesn't really have another switch in. And he needs the Tangrowth around to deal with the Tapu Koko. So yeah, um, edging again here is fine for Zomok because even if the Tangrowth stays in and goes for Giga Drain, it doesn't kill. Tita does get a Spadef boost uh, from the Sandstorm, we all know that. But yeah, now that he revealed that the Tita is banned, we know that the Ladi is most likely Mega Ladi. So the Ladi could be um, either a Defog Ladi with um, Roost and Bolt Beam, or it could be a Common Stored Power Ladi with um, Recover and Last Move, either Reflect Type or Substitute. We'll have to see that later in the game. Um, if the Lari turns out to not have Defog, then I think the Coco is going to have Defog because um, like three of his members gets hurt by Spikes, everything besides Clef gets hurt by Rocks. So I definitely think one of these two should have Defog on Zomok's side. But yeah, like I said, his play here is definitely edging again, like it's fine. He doesn't need health on a Tita necessarily. Like, he can also check the Heatran um, with the Lari probably. So he does edge and he misses, that sucks, um, that probably would have done like 40-50%. to 50%. Now, um, yeah, Shake is gonna have to go for off power here. Since uh, he missed that, now his Tita obviously loses when we run the trend, so uh, Zonk might not want to stay in here. Um, he might want to sack his Clef or go hard into Lari, we'll have to see. So he gets hard Lari here, expecting the off power, gets the play correct. Now we're gonna see um, the Ladi Mega evolve, and if it has T-Bolt, it can go for that because that would hit a potential incoming Greninja and it will also hit the trend for some damage. If it's Calm Mind Stop Power, then I think he's gonna Mega and um, Call Mind up. 
And yeah, this most likely doesn't have toxic, so he doesn't have to fear that. If he fears toxic, he can also go for reflect type here. Mm, the thing is, if the Greninja is the same set that um, that was that it was on Brofist's side, then it when Brofist used the team SPL, then it doesn't even have a move to hit the Lari because it was protein AZ Hydro Pump, HP Fire, Gunk Shot, and Spikes. Like so, it only would have Gunk Shot to hit this. So maybe he change it. We'll have to see if he change it to Ice Beam or to Ash Form. So he does go hard into Greninja. Um, that probably was his best bet if he didn't have Toxic. I guess he could have taunted there as well. Yeah, he was either predicting um, like a Surf or a Calm Mind. There. So he goes for Dark Pulse. I assume we see the um, Rooster recover. Yep. So now um, that's probably confirmed. Yeah, that's confirmed Spex damage because Megalady has CM up and it's pretty bulky and it only took. F like it took 45. That's still a good amount of damage. I know it's um, stab, super effective, but Megalady is bulky and it had a CM up. So now um, this is a tough turn for Shake. Because if he Dark Pulses again, and Zomo goes hard into T-Tar, then he, do he doesn't have a switch into T-Tar. And Dark Pulse definitely would not 2 it KO the T-Tar with the Spidef boost it gets from Sand. Um, Zomo doesn't have to go hard into T-Tar. He could also um, like stay in here and try to catch a double from Shake. But like Shake doesn't even have a double that covers all options. So I assume he just stayed in. Yep. Um, I mean, we knew that he stayed in because Greninja is faster than Lari and Lari switched so if Greninja switched it would have switched first because it's faster right so we knew that uh, Shake stayed in there so Dark Pulse now I think Edge is gonna come out here from Zomok that's probably his best bet um I don't think there's a point in pursuing Shake probably has to switch out because if he loses Greninja he can't just lose to the Lari like I guess if Taunt has if Heatron has Taunt then it can go for that was the Lari, but he didn't go for it earlier um, so he might not have it or he was maybe scouting for surf earlier on the Lari. but yeah shake has to switch here so either lando sec or heatran sec is what i'm expecting i mean heatran i guess can take an edge and then um, kill this with off power if it's in range now i think it's in range now so if zomok has an uh, earthquake he could also go for that trying to break the hard heatran I think a super power. One of the two moves would um, that would cover the Greninja staying in, and that would cover the Heatran. I mean, Earthquake might not will not kill. I think Earthquake might kill with Sandstorm damage. So Earthquake might be a fine play. Yeah, I said Earthquake is super power. One of the two, like I said, because I don't know if Shrek wants to go hard Lando and lose it because Lando is a speed control. So he does go hard. Tren expecting an edge, and he would have been able to live an edge, but he cannot live a super power. So there's a super power. Yeah, like I expected. Um, yeah, like I said, Earthquake is super power would have been a potential play. So yeah, Zomok is playing the super fire. Now, here's the Greninja. The obvious play here is going Tangrow, so Shake might want to go for Spikes here. I don't think staying in is the play. Like, it just seems too risky. Because if this Greninja gets Ash, then it outspeeds the Coco. And it kind of just clicks. Um, like, Dark Pulse does a lot to his entire team. Especially if this gets Ash form, so I wouldn't stay in here. I would go Tangrowth, even if he spikes. I don't think it's bad. So he stays in, <laughs> expecting the spike. Like you can say that he predicted him, and he looks like a complete goat. But I personally would not have made that play. Like I think that was um, a, a high risk play for sure that I would not have made. So um, yeah, Shake can just Volt switch here, and Zomok decides Tita has done its job. It's gonna be sacked off. And we would have been super low after hazards anyway, unless he's gonna get a defog. Now that we saw that the Lari um, showed CM stored power, I assume the defogger is the Coco on uh, Zomok's side. So now we, because one of these two, sh yeah, I don't know, I think I talked about it earlier, one of these two should definitely have defog on uh, Zomok's side. So he vaults out into his Scarf Lando, yeah, I expected him to either vault into um, Tang or Lando there, that makes sense. So now, um, it doesn't matter what Zom um like Zomok getting rid of the Greninja pretty much just won him the game because now um, his CM Megalari wins the game most likely and he still has nah, I guess he has to be a bit careful about the Halucha if um, because his Coco is gonna have to take rocks and spikes so if the Halucha ever gets up a SD then it could be bad for him but the thing is Halucha doesn't SD on much besides Tangrowth besides Tangrowth it doesn't really SD on anything because this trend is probably gonna have either Toxic or will wisp And yeah, so like, it doesn't just, it doesn't SD on much. So, um, he goes in a Heatran, which is a fine play, because um, if Shake Earthquakes and kills this, then the Lari comes in and gets a free Calm Mind, because this is Scarf Lander, would be locked into um, Earthquake then. 
So I kind of agree with this play. And if uh, he U-turns, um, like he just gets a magma off, and Shake is gonna have to sec something. And if he sacks Tangrowth, then he's really weak to Coco because this only has one more rock switch in. So he's either gonna like. I don't think he can off quick here because if he off quicks this guy's a free CM like I said. So he's gonna have to U-turn probably. And then afterwards, um he has to sack one of these two and then try to win with Halucha. So he's gonna have to try to SD up with Halucha, try to dodge Magma Storms, I guess. That's probably his win condition at this point. But it's definitely um looking good for Zomok. Yeah, like if Greninja would have gotten Ash off. Like, Dark Pulse would have been super scary for Zomok's team, but Hazard's up, Coco doesn't want to take that, and gets out sped, so it can switch in, Clef was low, and Tangrowth would have taken a lot with Hazard's up from um, Spex Spellbound, if Greninja got Ash from, like, I can respect, um, I can respect some aggressive play, but I personally, like I said, would not have made that play, but it worked out, so, um, props to Zomok, he has been uh, on fire this game so far, so there's the U-turn because he knows he can't go for Earthquake and let the Ladi set up for free, there's the Coco sack to Magma Storm, so now Lucha's gonna have to, um, try to SD up on the Magma Storm dodge, but like I said, it's probably has either Toxic or Wisp, so he doesn't even have to go for Magma Storm because Toxic or Wisp are more accurate, so there's the SD, we see it's Willow Wisp, oof, and yeah, now the Halucha cannot win because it's burned. So he's gonna have to keep SD because at plus 2 he obviously can't kill the Coco. So now he has to try to go to plus 6. And uh, Zomo can... Magma Storm. Yep, and he hits. And Halucha dies. Uh, he had to SD again obviously to um, be able to damage to the Coco. And the rest of Zomok's team, Megalady, obviously also would have walled the Halucha if it doesn't SD more. So Tangrus can come out. Um, I assume we see either the Wisp or the Magma Storm. Doesn't really matter at this point. He can also go hard Lottie and win with that. So he does um, go for Wisp, so that way Earthquake doesn't kill and it's more accurate than Magma Storm. Now he can, I was gonna say, either Magma or switch into one of these two. But it doesn't really matter. Like, he had the game one. He had like three or four ways to win at the end here. So he goes and into Scarf Lando, clicks Earthquake. Zomok sacks the trend, not preserving the 5 0 there. And Lottie is gonna be able to most likely start power here and pick off the win for Zomok. That was a cool game, um, where Zomok made, like, he got, like, pretty much all the reads correct. Like, super powering, um, getting rid of the hard heat train earlier. Um, Shake even dodged the edge, otherwise, I think otherwise edge would have also pretty much been a fine play in that scenario earlier. So we see the score here, the, um, between Tyrants and the Raiders. Um, now the Tyrants are up 6 and 5. And the last game is doubles OU, so Kaori would have to win this for the Raiders to um, bring this series to a tie break. Thank you guys for watching, stay tuned for more content, and peace out.